Good morning. We're in the yurt and Charles is about to start work on the chimney. He has removed one of the snow supports. So I had to cut that support off. And then I'm just putting in a support going across here from here so it'll maintain the weight distribution. And then I will cut the hole in here for this to go through. So before we could have a chimney, we would need a pretty big hole in the lattice wall and the foil bubble wrap insulation and the vinyl exterior membrane. And I must admit, I was not very enthusiastic about this. But this space would not be very useful to us without several convenient systems in place to heat it. So I gritted my teeth and watched Charles slice through the fabric and saw through the wood. Of course, he started to fix the hole as soon as he had finished cutting it. He attached one layer of metal flashing on the inside and another on the outside. Then he inserted an oversized metal thimble to protect the wall from the heat of the stove pipe. The size of the hole in these flashings that the yurt manufacturer provides was eight inches. With this pipe, it's triple wall, so it's got the six inch flue, an inch of insulation, and then an air gap. So this hole in the wall ended up being 14 inches. But it, and it has this can around it, so it gives it even more air gap around the, where it goes through the wall. So I had to cut the holes in the flashing large enough to accommodate this piece here from the pipe company. Outside T is finally done. Everything's secured to the wall. Got uh, quarter inch lag bolts going into the uh, subfascia, the bender board and the subfascia at the bottom. 
and it's also sitting on the deck so it's got extra support there. And at the top I've got five quarter inch lag bolts, six inches long, going into the uh, cross members I put on the inside. So now I've just got to put in the uh, extensions. So now the inside is about ready to put the pipe in and hook up this wood stove. I would say tomorrow I will be ready to start a fire. was pretty excited to have a functional chimney, but when I asked Charles to ham it up for the camera at the conclusion of this project, he reminded me that this chimney will be extended to an even greater height after the covered porch is built. Can I have a big ta-da? Ta-da! No, no, bigger than that. <laughs> this is just temporary. It's only going up two pipe sections at the moment, but when this is all covered by roof, this will have to be taken apart and put up and another section added. But for now, it's usable. Time to start a fire. But having heat in the yurt is no small thing, since it will allow Charles to keep working on indoor projects all through the winter. Good morning. It is the middle of December now and we have not had much snow since before Thanksgiving. So we're supposed to get snow today and we are excited to finally plant our seeds you might remember the cistern mountain that we built, which is right now bare topsoil. And we are so excited to get some plants growing on that. We'll save some of it just in case the seeds don't take. Um, the idea is we want them to get buried under the snow and germinate in the spring. If that doesn't happen, we will plant some more at that time. I couldn't see the seeds flying sideways out of the bottom of the spreader, but Charles assured me that's what they were doing. Right now, that bare soil seems like a bleak place for future plants to bide their time, but that's the amazing thing we celebrate about these shortest days of winter. The near certainty that big changes will come with the spring. excited to see the snow. I noticed there's some bare ground under here with even a little grass. I think Dharma is going to be very excited about this because he hates walking in the snow. Oh, you 
good stuff. Oh no. Yesterday we had our first snow that did not melt immediately. So I came out here first thing in the morning to look for some animal tracks. And I did not have to look very far. I walked up to the top of our clearing and I'm going to show you the tracks that I found and we'll walk in the woods and see if we can find any more. I'm not an expert when it comes to animal tracks. But after some research, I convinced myself that it was our local coyotes who had spent the previous evening exploring almost all of the walking trails on our property and the one next door. Thanks for joining us for another project and for a walk in the winter woods. We wish you a very happy holiday season and we hope to see you again soon.